For the next step, we have to withdraw the spindle from the housing. The way it comes out is it comes out in that direction. So something has to push this end while pulling that end out. And we have some tools here to do that. At this stage we can remove the high-low shaft if we like. One set of instructions says to remove that. Another set of instructions tell you that you can just take the spindle out at this stage. On the plastic gear shaft, the high-low shaft, there's also a small washer, which I should have taken off. It goes there. So now we should be able to knock that shaft out. Here are the tools I'm going to use to remove the spindle from the housing. There are some washers that came with the kit. Some washers have a large hole, like that one there. These washers take the rod straight through, and those uh, large ones are, according to the instructions here, the, uh, they are a drawing type of uh, washer whereas the washers with the small holes are a pushing washer and they fit on the end of this bolt. These bolts have got a, uh, a reduced diameter section. They are pushers. There are two pushers and there are two drawing washers. Each washer has a flange and these flanges are designed to fit either inside the bearing or around the outer casing of the bearing and also the the tubes that come the two tubes that come with the the kit like that these tubes are to uh, help you push the spindle in out of the casing at this stage I've tapped the high low shaft out but it won't come off because of the flange so the instructions that come from Micromark tell you to remove that won't work while the flange is still on just for now I've tapped the high low shaft back in so it's not in the way when you tap it back in to make sure the bearing goes in you have to the plastic uh, bearing cover has to have the little C cut out in the right place otherwise it won't push in okay so this is a, uh, a pusher washer which has got a, uh, a small hole and it goes on this side of the uh, spindle and we're going to try and draw the spindle out I think the way this works is this goes on top and one of these bolts pushes down on that washer which pushes the spindle out Orient that should push it out that way towards the flange. So if I I'm assuming I have to put the uh, bolts in this flange thing to hold it in place. So I'll just check the instructions. So I will now attach this flange to the spindle casing using the bolts that held the uh, bearing cover in place. Like that. Get that bolt out for now. The washer is already inside on the spindle, so it shouldn't fall off. Okay, that's now bolted to the casing using the three screws. Now we'll uh, push the bolt in, which will push against the spindle and hopefully push it out. It's engaged there, so it should push it out that end. Okay, it went pop, I presume it's on its way out. Check 
to see if anything is happening by looking in here. I guess the thing is you have to, um, this coming out, you have to watch these gears mesh with the other gears, otherwise you might damage them. I guess that's why they tell you to take the high-low thing out first. The high-low shaft and its gears. Anyway, we'll watch that. It's quite tight. It's coming that. And the gears are moving the other ones. They should actually slide across. It's coming now a lot easier. Gears have meshed looking in there. Whereas I turn it, all the gears are turning. Sounds like it's come out. It looks like it's come out. stage and probably take this thing off. So we'll do. Move the small Allen key bolts so I can take that cover off. Just push her off. 